right, guys, we just finished up filming on Lake Yale. Uh, man, it started off a little slow. I mean, I had the Berkeley Swamp Lord. We were trying to get some top water bites, and it's hard to put that thing down because, man, when they're eating, it's just so much fun. But we fished around. We tried to fish the bank. It was extremely hot out. We, we had to do something that we normally don't do. We had to slide a few hundred yards off the shore, uh, which was very strange. It was, you know, I was definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, I don't know if me or Corey, we saw some fish kind of busting out, out in the distance around some hydrilla, and uh, we went out there and we took the coal shad out. Uh, started cranking it around and, and got our first couple bites really quick and actually found this school of fish uh, with the coal shed. We're also using the Berkeley Dime, which is a new crankbait, awesome bait. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, head over to the vlog, check it out. But let me show you some of the gear that I was using. Starting off with the coal shed, the number one thing I really like is the HD colors that they're able to have. This one is yellow perch. Man, I mean, it looks just like an actual perch. The other neat thing about it, it has um, some holes where you can put uh, tungsten nail weights in it. So if, if you're one of those guys, you want to fish offshore with it a little deeper, um, you can put it, you know, I think up to three or four nail weights. It actually has uh, certain positions to put it in there where you're able to just do so many things. It makes the bait more versatile, you know. Another neat thing was the hook keeper design. It holds the hook for when you're skipping under docks, under trees, keeps the bait from not fouling up and not swinging around all loose. And finally, the honeycomb design allows them to make the bait with a lot more durable plastic, but still have a really good swimming action. So when I'm throwing the cold shot, I'm usually wanting to throw it on, uh, you know, a 7.6, uh, medium heavy or so, so I can make really long casts. We had it on the Shane LeHue dock skipping rod. Uh, for skipping under docks, under trees. Uh, let me tell you something about the reel. Now this is a huge key, uh, I think, to catching fish on this coal shad. And I go to a six, eight to one reel. It's a little bit slower reel ratio. Um, and it really allows that bait to swim really naturally. I throw it on a Xenon MGX and straight 15 pound, 100% trialing. That's the line I like throwing with it. Uh, the reason I go with 100% fluorocarbon is because there's less stretch. It's not like a stretchier fluorocarbon. It's probably the closest fluorocarbon you could have to having braid on it. You know, it clears the grass well. Uh, it really allows you to drive that big trouble into the fish when they eat it. And that's the setup I use for the coal shad. So when we were throwing the coal shad, you know, after we caught a few fish, we started seeing some follows, you know, where they weren't committing to it. That's when we switched over to the new Berkeley Dime crankbait. And once we found out where the little sweet spot was, it was almost every cast. I mean, it was, in, it was incredible. So my favorites, uh, because I like fishing shallow, uh, is definitely the four and the six. Those are the two shallow runners. It actually, they have a 10 and a 15. Also for you guys that want to fish out deep, they all have a different action, which actually showed in this video where, you know, we caught a lot on the four and then they kind of quit biting it. As Soon as we picked up the, the six, first cast because of the different action. All those years we used balsa crankbaits, you know, and it was hard. You would find one that was really good, but you can you would go buy another one and it just wouldn't have consistency. It wouldn't, it wouldn't act the same, wouldn't run the same. Every one that comes out of the package is ready to go. Uh, and my most favorite thing is definitely the translucent colors. You know, I was throwing a lot of the ghost bluegill and then the ghost green crawl. And, uh, and I just, in the day and age we're in where everybody's out fishing, a lot of these lakes have a lot of pressure. Uh, having that more transparent color seems to really work, especially in clear water. So that's a really neat feature. They also have a weight transfer system. It allows you to throw that bait really far. This might be the most key feature on this entire bait is this little disc right here. It tells you the actual size uh, whether it's a four, six, ten, but that little disc there gives that bait the uh, balsa-like action. You know that's what allows that bait to wobble and have that balsa feel coming through the water. And then finally, the Fusion 19 hooks. You don't have to change your hooks when you buy this crankbait. It's ready to fish out of the package. I'm throwing 15 pound, 100% fluorocarbon on all the sizes. The reason I like that is you know the the less stretch. When you're ticking the hydrilla, you're able to just snap it clean to clean it off. The dime seems to go right through the grass uh, very very well, allowing you to get a lot of them strikes when you break it free. And when it comes to the rod both these baits the four and the six i mean i'm throwing them on the same rod a seven six medium heavy so just so happens i have my own seven six medium heavy pro series john cox cranking rod which is crazy that i have a cranking rod but that's what i seem to do a lot these days and uh yeah this rod allows you to make really far casts and it's got a soft enough tip so when you're fighting that fish that you're not going to lose them it's not going to pull off but it has enough backbone to either clear it from the grass or drive those hooks in them the reels they're huge key on the reels six eight to one. I don't want a super slow reel because I do like burning the crankbaits some, especially these dimes. You're able to really crank them really fast uh, and they have a real nice erratic action. It's not a super slow reel ratio and it's not super fast. You know, it's that perfect in between. It makes these crankbaits catch a lot more fish. 
All right, guys, if you haven't seen the vlog yet, man, go check it out. It was kind of cool. We didn't get a lot of bites in the beginning. As soon as we moved offshore, uh, man, we had some awesome fish catches on the dime and the coal shad. We'll head over to Tackle Warehouse and pick up some dimes and some coal shads if you want to catch a lot of fish.